Having a sexual experience with a narcissist is like sleeping with the devil itself. It leaves you questioning your attractiveness and self-esteem, feeling like an object, and confused about what just happened. They don't give you closure and make everything revolve around themselves. Why is it so painful? Because of all their strange sexual behaviors and habits. Today's topic is about seven strange sexual habits and behaviors of a narcissist. If you're interested and want to know more, subscribe to help spread awareness about narcissistic abuse. Habit 1. Approach and Avoidance The narcissist's approach and avoidance behavior in a sexual context has many more layers than it seems. Initially, it may seem simple. You seek physical closeness or intimate connection, and they consistently deny or reject you. But this dynamic hides a complex need for control, manipulation, and power over you. This approach creates a continuous cycle of rejection, confusion, and attempts at validation on your part, resulting in deep emotional exhaustion. For a narcissist, control is key. By denying intimacy, they keep you in a state of uncertainty, constantly seeking approval or closeness. This is because, for them, sexual relations are not an act of genuine connection, but a way to exert dominance. Refusing your advances or manipulating intimacy is, therefore, a way to reaffirm their power. It's a mental game that reinforces the idea that they control the needs and desires in the relationship, keeping you in constant emotional imbalance. On the other hand, when the narcissist desires sex, the rules change abruptly. There's no room for questioning or refusal. Your feelings, physical limitations, or emotional states are ignored. You must give in to their desires, regardless of your circumstances. You may be going through a vulnerable moment, such as illness, recovery from surgery, or an emotional problem, but to the narcissist, this is irrelevant. Any attempt to resist or express your own needs or discomforts will be met with disdain or threats. It is not uncommon for the narcissist to use tactics like emotional blackmail or even threats of infidelity to force their will. They make it clear that if you do not satisfy their demands, they are willing to seek satisfaction outside the relationship. This manipulation not only undermines your self-esteem but makes you doubt your value and attractiveness. Being constantly rejected or confronted with indifference towards your desires can create a deep feeling of inadequacy. It is natural for you to ask what's wrong with me. This questioning leads many narcissist partners to try to change themselves in a desperate attempt to gain acceptance or recognition. This may include altering their physical appearance, adopting different behaviors or tastes, or even yielding to desires that don't reflect their personal preferences all in the hope of being accepted. However, none of this seems to be enough. Rejection is used as a cycle, designed to keep you dependent and confused. No matter how hard you try to transform or please, the narcissist will continue to control the intimacy dynamic, reaffirming that you will never have the power in the relationship. They set the rules and change them as they wish, keeping you in a win-lose game where only they have the advantage. The approach and avoidance behavior also plays a key role in creating trauma bonds. This repetitive cycle of alternating acceptance and rejection creates a constant state of anxiety. You begin to associate any small gesture of validation or acceptance as something extremely valuable and necessary. When the narcissist finally gives in and offers a moment of intimacy or attention, you experience an intense relief that reinforces the sense of dependency. This cycle generates a distorted emotional bond, known as a trauma bond, making it even harder for you to distance yourself emotionally and recover. Furthermore, the narcissist may use other tactics to reinforce their control. For instance, they might suggest that the rejection is due to a flaw or inadequacy of yours, whether related to your body, your ability to please them, or your behavior. These suggestions may be subtle or extremely direct, but the impact is equally destructive. You may find yourself spending time and energy trying to fix something about yourself that in reality was never the real problem. The problem isn't you, but the narcissist's desire to maintain absolute control. 
Another insidious aspect of this approach is that it doesn't end just in the bedroom. This type of sexual manipulation reflects other aspects of the relationship, such as financial, psychological, and emotional control. The narcissist creates a system where you are conditioned to seek approval and conform to their rules. Continuous rejection in such an intimate area as sexuality is just a tool to reinforce your submission. In conclusion, the approach and avoidance habit is not just about sex, but about control, manipulation, and power. The narcissist's goal is to keep you in a constant state of insecurity, seeking validation, and questioning yourself. Your emotional strength and self-esteem are slowly eroded while they remain in control. To break this cycle, it's crucial to recognize that rejection and manipulation do not reflect your value or your ability to be loved, but rather the control tactics used by someone incapable of forming genuine connections. Habit 2. Sex After Intense Fights One of the most complex and disturbing behaviors of a narcissist is the desire to have sex immediately after an intense argument or fight. For many partners, this need for physical closeness seems contradictory or, at the very least, hard to understand. However, for the narcissist, this dynamic is a powerful tool for emotional control and manipulation. To begin, it's important to understand that for many narcissists, their pain or vulnerability can be a source of pleasure or validation for them. Seeing the partner's suffering, sadness, or confusion after a heated argument makes them feel in control, and the need for sex after this moment has nothing to do with emotional repair or true reconciliation. Instead, it's about reaffirming their position of power over you. This behavior shows that even when you are emotionally shaken or vulnerable, they can still win you over or force you to give in to their will. For the narcissist, sex after an argument is a way of erasing or ignoring what happened. There's no room for honest conversations about hurt feelings or the causes of the fight. Instead, they expect you to accept the reconciliation without anything being resolved or without them acknowledging their own abusive behaviors. This creates a cycle in which the problems are never truly addressed or resolved, leading to a buildup of unhealed emotional wounds that only grow over time. The desire to reconnect physically right after a fight can also be a way for them to regain the control they feel they lost during the argument. When there are conflicts or confrontations, even brief ones, the narcissist may perceive it as a threat to their authority. The sexual act, then, is a way to reaffirm their dominance over you, making it clear that, no matter what happened or how hurt you are, they still have the power to control the situation and dictate the terms of the relationship. This behavior also leads to the creation of a trauma bond. The moments of extreme emotional tension followed by physical reconciliation generate an emotional roller coaster. Your brain, amid the hormonal chaos caused by stress and the subsequent release of pleasure hormones during sex, begins to associate these highs and lows with the connection to the narcissist. Hormones like dopamine, oxytocin, and endorphins are released after sex, especially in emotionally charged contexts, creating a temporary sense of relief and pleasure that can be deceptive. Over time, you may become dependent on this dynamic, believing these moments are the only times you feel a connection with the narcissist, even though it is dysfunctional and harmful. Moreover, this practice of sexual reconciliation without emotional resolution reinforces the idea that your emotional needs don't matter. Your suffering or discomfort is discarded and not seen as valid. For the narcissist, everything comes down to what they want and when they want it, with no empathy for what you're feeling or going through. The trauma, the wounds, or the difficulties are not recognized, and you're left feeling that your feelings don't matter or will never be taken seriously. This type of behavior also creates a guilt dynamic. If you refuse to give in to the desire for sex after a fight, the narcissist may make you feel guilty, as though you're refusing to repair the relationship or being difficult. They may accuse you of being cold, selfish, or incapable of moving on, using guilt as another tool to manipulate and control you. On the other hand, if you give in and accept this form of reconciliation, 
It is often done reluctantly and under emotional pressure, leaving you feeling violated, used or even more confused. It is crucial to understand that sexual reconciliation without true emotional repair is not a sign of love or a healthy connection. Instead, it's a powerful and damaging manipulation tool. The narcissist uses sex to suppress their feelings, erase their mistakes, and keep you emotionally tied in a dysfunctional way. They will never address the real issues or take responsibility for their behavior. And this dynamic will repeat whenever it is convenient for them. To break this cycle, it's essential to recognize that engaging in sex after intense arguments with a narcissist is not a genuine attempt at closeness. Instead, it's another tactic in their arsenal of control. By understanding this, you can begin to step away from this emotional trap, seek validation elsewhere, and eventually free yourself from the harmful bond this dynamic creates. Remember, you deserve a relationship where your emotional and physical needs are respected and valued, not manipulated to satisfy someone else's whims. Habit 3. Control in Sexual Positions The control a narcissist exerts in a relationship isn't confined to their words or daily actions. It extends to the bedroom in unsettling ways. During intimacy, Narcissists often choose sexual positions that limit your movement and reduce your active participation, turning the moment into an experience of control and domination rather than genuine connection. For them, sex is not about mutual pleasure or vulnerability. It's about reinforcing their power and authority, even in the most intimate contexts, by favoring positions that leave their partner immobilized or physically disadvantaged, narcissists assert their dominance. They often opt for positions where they have full control over the movements, ensuring that you are reduced to a spectator or object of their actions. This might involve positions that immobilize you under their weight or restrict your arms and legs. This physical dynamic reinforces feelings of powerlessness, making it clear that you are at their mercy. For them, sexual activity is not a mutual dance, but a one-sided performance of control. This approach to sex sends a clear message. Your participation, desires, and needs are irrelevant. Attempts to interact, show affection, or take some control are often swiftly dismissed. Narcissists may stop your movements with statements like, I don't like that or don't do that, emphasizing that your role is to obey and be controlled. This behavior creates a profound sense of isolation during sex turning what should be a moment of closeness into an alienating experience. Additionally, their control in the bedroom is an extension of the emotional manipulation they employ outside of it. By restricting your physical freedom, the narcissist reinforces the idea that they dominate all aspects of the relationship. It's a silent but potent reminder that they are in charge, even in your most vulnerable moments. This often leads to feelings of insecurity, humiliation, and dehumanization. Over time, you might start viewing yourself as a tool to satisfy their needs rather than a person with emotions, desires, and boundaries. This dynamic also feeds into the narcissist's sense of grandiosity. For many, controlling their partner's body becomes a way to bolster their distorted self-esteem. During sex, they may feel invincible or powerful, believing they have complete dominance over you. The act becomes an extension of their ego rather than a mutual expression of intimacy. Instead of seeking connection, the narcissist uses the moment to inflate their self-image, often at the expense of your emotional and physical well-being. Control during sex is also closely tied to the narcissist's lack of empathy. They rarely, if ever, consider how you feel during these encounters, physically or emotionally. Their focus is solely on their own pleasure and satisfaction. Your comfort, desires, or boundaries are of no concern to them. If something causes you discomfort, it's dismissed as irrelevant. Attempts to voice your feelings might be met with disdain, denial, or emotional manipulation, further solidifying the power imbalance. The effects of this physical manipulation can be profound and long-lasting. Many partners of narcissists report feelings of shame, humiliation, and detachment after intimate encounters, 
especially when their efforts to connect are rejected or ignored. Over time, this can lead to a deeper emotional disconnection within the relationship, reinforcing the cycle of emotional dependency. Sexual experiences with a narcissist often serve as painful reminders of your lack of control and the absence of genuine mutual respect. Recognizing and naming this dynamic is a crucial step in breaking free from the cycle of control. The use of positions and tactics that limit your freedom is a deliberate tool of domination, designed to reinforce the narcissist's power over you. To escape this control, it's essential to acknowledge your right to set boundaries, say no, and pursue relationships where intimacy is based on mutual respect and the pursuit of genuine connection and pleasure, not control and manipulation. The control exercised in sexual positions, when unpacked, reveals much about the narcissist's nature and their relentless desire for power. The first step toward liberation is understanding that you deserve more than to be treated as an object of domination. You deserve respect, dignity, and consideration, both in and out of the bedroom. By preferring pornography over physical connection with their partner, the narcissist perpetuates the message that you are not good enough. This behavior establishes a pattern of constant comparison, where you may feel the need to compete with unrealistic, manipulated figures to gain attention and validation. This distorted comparison can deeply impact your self-esteem and confidence, making you question your worth and attractiveness. They may reinforce these insecurities with subtle or overt criticisms, such as saying you don't compare or that there is something wrong with your body or sexual behavior. However, the real issue lies in their inability to connect and accept the reality of intimacy with another person. Many narcissists use pornography as a tool to justify their rejection of intimacy or to deflect blame for their emotional shortcomings. By insisting that you are not suitable or attractive enough for them, they shift responsibility for their inability to form a genuine connection. They use pornography to maintain emotional distance and project their feelings of inadequacy and emotional discomfort onto you. At its core, their fixation on adult content reflects their emotional superficiality and their desire to remain in a space where they feel safe, untouchable, and free from emotional accountability. Another significant aspect of this behavior is how it often reinforces the objectification of their partner. For the narcissist, pornography aligns with their worldview of others as objects meant to fulfill their needs. The fantasy and emotional detachment allow them to keep their partner at a convenient, safe distance. Pornography, therefore, becomes more than just a pastime. It is an extension of their manipulative dynamic, further dehumanizing the person beside them. This can create a cycle of devaluation and frustration where any attempt to reconnect emotionally feels futile and insurmountable. Choosing pornography over a real relationship also has lasting effects on the bond between you and the narcissist. It creates an environment where genuine intimacy is replaced with hollow, controlled moments. This leads to growing disconnection between the couple, marked by loneliness, insecurity, and feelings of irrelevance or disposability. Over time, this lack of emotional connection can transform the relationship into a cycle of dependence and rejection, where you are constantly seeking validation that never comes. Overcoming this pattern is challenging and requires recognizing that the narcissist's excessive use of pornography is not your fault and does not reflect a lack of value on your part. It is a direct manifestation of their inability to open themselves to real connections and their need to maintain control. Being with someone who prefers fantasy over genuine connection is emotionally exhausting and can deeply undermine your self-esteem. However, understanding that you deserve to be valued and to have a relationship based on mutual connection, respect, and vulnerability is a crucial step toward breaking free from their manipulations and rebuilding your self-worth.
underscore 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 habit five lack of intimacy and objectification in the early stages of a relationship with a narcissist, it's common for them to appear highly seductive and engaging. They may display a level of intimacy and connection that makes you feel you've found someone with whom you share a unique chemistry. During this phase, the narcissist may seem attentive, caring, and even passionate. They use this initial stage to draw you in, making you feel special and desired. This is part of a calculated cycle designed to captivate you and create a deep emotional bond that will later become difficult to break. However, this phase is deceptive and serves only one selfish purpose, to trap you in a cycle of emotional dependence. Once they are confident that you are emotionally invested, the narcissist's behavior shifts drastically and painfully. The intimacy they once displayed begins to be withheld or even completely denied. For the narcissist, true emotional connection is neither a goal nor a need. Instead, they use the withdrawal of affection and attention as a tool of control. This behavior creates confusion, leading you to question what has changed. What once seemed like intense love and intimate connection transforms into coldness, detachment, and manipulation. You find yourself constantly wondering what you did wrong or how you can recapture the level of attention and care that was once given. The narcissist uses this give and take dynamic to keep you emotionally unbalanced. When they withhold intimacy, you begin to doubt your worth, attractiveness, and capacity to love. This process is calculated to make you dependent on the occasional scraps of affection they choose to offer. When you do receive attention, no matter how minimal, the sense of relief is profound, reinforcing your emotional dependence and feeding the toxic cycle of the relationship. This keeps you trapped in a constant quest for validation and love that is never fully provided. Furthermore, many narcissists avoid genuine emotional contact, such as meaningful kisses or affectionate touches. This refusal to engage in moments of vulnerability reflects their fear of emotional exposure and loss of control. A kiss, for instance, can be seen as something that reveals emotions and brings people closer. However, for the narcissist, this level of openness is uncomfortable and dangerous as it might expose their true nature or bring repressed feelings to the surface. Instead of allowing for this connection, they choose to protect themselves through coldness and distance, maintaining an emotional barrier that prevents any genuine closeness. Breaking free from these dynamics requires recognizing the manipulation at play and understanding that you are not at fault for the narcissist's lack of intimacy. Their behavior is a reflection of their own emotional limitations, not a measure of your worth. You deserve a relationship where intimacy is mutual, consistent, and based on respect, not a tool for control and manipulation. In the bedroom, the lack of intimacy becomes even more apparent. The narcissist doesn't see sex as an expression of love or connection, but as a means of control and domination. Rather than seeking mutual bonding, they approach the act mechanically and impersonally, reducing their partner to an object for their gratification. What could be a moment of affection and shared intimacy is reduced to a hollow and utilitarian interaction. The narcissist uses physical contact to assert power and feed their ego, leaving you feeling devalued and used. After these so-called moments of intimacy, the disconnection becomes even more evident. The narcissist may withdraw both physically and emotionally, refusing eye contact, withholding affection, or showing any form of post-intimacy care. This highlights their emotional shallowness and the objectification of their partner. To them, Sex is just another tool to manipulate, control, and dominate. Once the moment is over, you are left feeling discarded and empty, reinforcing the notion that you are nothing more than an object meant to provide momentary pleasure. This cycle of seduction, rejection, 
and objectification can have devastating effects on self-esteem and emotional well-being. You may find yourself constantly seeking the narcissist's approval and affection, even while knowing it will never be enough. They manipulate your emotions to keep you trapped in an unbalanced relationship where they hold all the power. The sense of being treated as a disposable object undermines your confidence and erodes your sense of self-worth. Recognizing this pattern is crucial to breaking free from the cycle of abuse and regaining control over your life. It's vital to understand that the problem does not lie within you, but in the narcissist's inability to offer a genuine connection. They cannot relate authentically because doing so would make them vulnerable and exposed something they cannot tolerate. Facing this truth can be painful, but it's the first step toward escaping a relationship that drains your energy, disregards your needs, and ignores your true essence. You deserve respect, affection, and authentic connection, not to be treated as a disposable object. Habit 6. Manipulation and using sex as a reward or punishment. The Narcissist in their constant pursuit of control and dominance, uses sex as a tool of manipulation. For them, physical intimacy is not an expression of love or genuine connection. Rather, it's an instrument to reinforce their position of power in a relationship. When they want something from you or are satisfied with your behavior, essentially, when you're acting according to their desires and expectations, they may appear loving, seductive, and sexually available. During these times, the narcissist creates an illusion of closeness and affection, making you believe the relationship is finally on the right track and that you've found the connection you've been yearning for. However, this affection is always conditional and temporary. It serves as a form of reward designed to reinforce the behaviors the narcissist wants to see in you. If you comply with their wishes and meet their expectations, you may be rewarded with attention, compliments, and intimate moments. This dynamic sets up a cycle where you feel compelled to seek their approval and validation. Over time, you unconsciously learn that physical intimacy is granted only when you align with their whims and demands. On the other hand, when you oppose them, fail to meet their expectations, or express needs and opinions that conflict with theirs, the dynamic shifts drastically. In these cases, intimacy is abruptly and deliberately withheld. The narcissist may ignore you entirely, become cold and distant, or even reject you in a humiliating way. They use the withdrawal of sexual intimacy as a form of punishment, leaving you feeling rejected, inadequate, or guilty for not being good enough to earn their affection. This type of manipulation profoundly affects your emotional well-being, making you question your worth and feel anxious to correct your behavior in the hope of regaining their attention and affection. The narcissist is acutely aware of how to play with your emotions and ensures you remain caught in a cycle of dependence and submission. They understand that depriving you of affection and intimacy creates a painful void that only they can fill. This creates a chase and reward dynamic that is incredibly destructive trapping you in a relentless pursuit of their validation, even when you know it will be offered only on their terms. Furthermore, the narcissist's manipulation of sex serves to bolster their sense of superiority. They know they hold the power to make you feel desired or rejected with a single gesture, feeding their ego and need for control. By offering intimacy as a reward, they position themselves as the sole source of affection and pleasure in the relationship. Similarly, by withdrawing intimacy, they reinforce their authority and place you in a submissive position, constantly yearning for what they control and manipulate at their convenience. The impact of this behavior is profoundly damaging. It erodes your self-esteem, makes you question your attractiveness, and distorts your understanding of what constitutes a healthy relationship. You may come to believe that love and intimacy are things you must earn, and that your worth as a partner is tied to your ability to please the narcissist. This belief, perpetuated by the cycle of manipulation, fosters a toxic, emotional dependence that is incredibly hard to break. To make matters worse, the narcissist may employ other tactics, such as threats of infidelity or comparisons to others, 
to reinforce their control. They might imply that you need to try harder or that you fall short in some specific way. These tactics are designed to keep you in a constant state of anxiety, desperately seeking their approval and fearing rejection. When you finally feel like you've earned their favor, they may grant moments of intimacy that, though shallow, provide temporary relief from the cycle of rejection and longing. Understanding and acknowledging these patterns is essential for breaking free from the toxic dynamic and reclaiming your self-worth. Recognize that you deserve a relationship where intimacy and affection are not conditional rewards or tools of manipulation, but are freely given as part of a mutual, respectful, and authentic connection. This pattern of sexual manipulation turns the relationship into a cruel and unbalanced game, where you are never in control of your own emotions or the relationship as a whole. Everything revolves around the narcissist's whims, leaving you at the mercy of their arbitrary decisions. What you deserve and what everyone deserves is a relationship based on respect, true love, and genuine intimacy. Recognizing the narcissist's manipulative tactics is the first step to breaking this cycle and seeking a life where intimacy is not used as currency or a tool of control. Habit 7. Disregard for the partner's needs and desires. In a relationship with a narcissist, you quickly realize that your needs, desires, and feelings are irrelevant to them. This is often evident during moments of intimacy, but also permeates the relationship as a whole. For the narcissist, the only thing that matters is the fulfillment of their own desires. There is no room for mutual compromise or a balance where both partners feel heard, valued, and respected. Instead, Everything revolves around what the narcissist wants, with no regard for what you need or feel. Their disregard for your needs can be subtle or explicit, but it always aims to reinforce the narcissist's power and control over you. They might ignore your physical pain, whether it's a medical condition, a recent injury, or any other discomfort you are experiencing. Even in moments when it's clear you're unable to meet their demands, the narcissist may persist or make you feel guilty for not living up to their expectations. Their lack of empathy and inability to respect your physical boundaries are prime examples of their egocentric and manipulative nature. No matter how evident your discomfort or exhaustion, to them, your role is always to submit and cater to their needs. When it comes to emotional desires and preferences, the situation is just as bleak. You might try to express what you want or need to feel emotionally connected or secure, but the narcissist dismisses or mocks your feelings. They might ridicule you for showing vulnerability, labeling your emotions as weakness or irrelevance. Any attempt to set boundaries is seen as a challenge to their authority. They may respond with anger, emotional manipulation, or even punitive silent treatment. This creates a toxic cycle where you end up giving in to their demands out of fear of the consequences, all while your needs remain unmet. This dynamic extends to sexual intimacy as well. If you express a desire or preference, the narcissist might disregard or even do the opposite of what you asked, just to reassert their control over the situation. They never relinquish power or allow you to take the lead, not even for a moment. If you attempt to establish or communicate your own needs, they might emotionally manipulate you, accusing you of being demanding or hard to please. In this way, the narcissist turns even moments of intimacy into tools for reinforcing their superiority and making you question your worth. The disregard for your desires and needs is not only painful, it's devastating. Over time, you begin to believe that your needs are irrelevant or even wrong. This internalization of worthlessness erodes your self-esteem, making you feel small, powerless, and perpetually dissatisfied. It's a vicious cycle where you keep trying harder to please, but it's never enough. The frustration and helplessness this generates are powerful tools the narcissist uses to maintain control. By making you doubt yourself and feel constantly unfulfilled, they reinforce their position of power in the relationship. Moreover, this selfish and manipulative approach often leaves you feeling isolated and desperate for connection. The narcissist, whether consciously or not, is aware of this 
and uses your vulnerability to their advantage. They may offer crumbs of attention or affection sporadically, just enough to keep you hooked and hoping that one day they will change or care for you in the way you deserve. However, in practice, they never genuinely acknowledge your needs, let alone try to meet them. Ultimately, the narcissist's disregard for your needs and desires reveals their true nature. Someone incapable of empathy who views those around them merely as objects to serve their wants. To them, you are a means to an end, and your needs are obstacles or inconveniences. A healthy, balanced relationship requires respect, empathy, and mutual consideration. Values a narcissist is incapable of offering. Recognizing this is the first step to breaking free from the cycle of emotional abuse and seeking relationships where your needs and desires are genuinely valued and respected. If this resonates with your experience, share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. Until next time, and may your healing journey continue.